so where are we Mays today? Hill Cemetery. Okay, Mays Hill Cemetery. Mays Hill. Um, one of the older graveyards in Sydney, New South Wales. Being, this being the, the settlement um, place. Uh, 1880s, but they, they go as early as the 1780s further down. Right up until present day. And as you can see, some of the stones are actually that old that you can no longer make out the names um, fully or the dates of death. Um, it's a bit more, a bit difficult. Some of the graves are actually cracked right open. Um, like the crypt style graves, like the, this one here. Um, and just where they, you know, dumped on them and things like that. That's a really old one, obviously, you can't even tell what's written on there. And a lot of the ground sunk in the roof. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. Yeah, nearly. Something just told me that thing was kind of there. Nearly got fucked up a little bit. <laughs> just right. a little bit. He, he was more scared of us, I think. Mm -hmm. So, Charles James Bodding, 1881. Lovely when it's all, um, you know, do all this chip yeah. and stuff and stuff, but they've been a bit of a Right, this lady, Eliza Scott, died in 1905, aged 90 years. So she was born in 1815. So she would have seen the entire Industrial Revolution and all of that, and the Black Plague. Actually, maybe we should... Bit of a spooky grave. It looks like it has eyes. Yeah. Because where the, he the headstone mm. is on there. Um, that's the grave of W.J. Jack Owen. Owen. And George Moore. And Thomas Owen. 1893. Doesn't matter what it is you have to say. So if there's anybody who has anything they'd like to say, please just talk into the microphone. And we will be able to hear you.